With the crazy push by liberals in the media and Harry Reid for Mitt Romney to release his tax returns, other than the two years that he's already released, there's a big misconception as to how much the rich actually pay in taxes versus what the poor pay in taxes. Now, Harry Reid came up with some ridiculous source claiming that he worked at Bain Capital and that Romney paid zero taxes for 10 years and now has to come out and prove that he actually did pay taxes. Just when you thought the tax the rich robots had died out, Harry Reid comes up with this complete whopper of a lie, and then he repeats it on the floor of the Senate saying that the word is out that Mitt Romney paid no taxes for 10 years. Well, Harry, the only reason that the word is out is because you put the word out a few days ago, and then you repeated it shamelessly on the floor of the Senate. Apparently these lies are taking hold and reviving the tax the rich debate because all over this country many think that Mitt Romney pays about 15% in taxes while the poor middle class worker pays some 33% or 30% seems to be the going rate espoused by a lot of people. However, some confused YouTube user commented on another video I did and I'm sure he's not alone. He's under the impression that the middle class pays 33% in taxes. That, unfortunately, is about the furthest thing from the truth that you can get. However, that's what some people believe. So let's take a look at his comment in its entirety. Well, want to talk about percent? Want to talk percentages? Okay, how about the fact that the middle class workers pay 33% in taxes while the rich man, Romney, only paid 13.9%? He won't even release the rest because... Surely he didn't pay any taxes in the previous years, as if he knows that. I'm tired of all these thoughtless Republicans, Democrats, 2012. Well, if you look at the IRS tax tables and not the lie that the middle class pays 30 or 33 percent, as some people believe, we see that a person making $50,000 a year, here it is right here, is the line for $50,000 a year, let me highlight that, will pay, let's go at the highest rate, if they're single, they pay $8,631 per year on, the, on a $50,000 taxable income. That is a median family income, and that is effectively 17.3%. So guess what? That's effectively the same rate that Mitt Romney pays. So no, Mitt Romney is not getting a tax break. Plus, Mitt Romney pays millions in real dollar taxes. Now, that's something that no middle class person even comes remotely close to paying. The tax percentage debate is just another lie being pushed by Barack Obama, the Democrats, and their partners in crime, the mainstream media. Go ahead and leave your comments, your thoughtful comments, in the comment section below.